What's up guys, Celestia here again. I thought I would do a little guide for a change, since I know how much of a bastard RAM can be on insane difficulty. So here's a little tip for you. When you're doing this, go to campaign and then go to host co-op game. And if you really want to do it yourself without anyone joining, you can do private Xbox Live. But I would suggest doing it public, because RAM's so much easier public. But if you're a real sadist, you can try it on private. I did them on private, uh, basically on single player, the first time I played Gears of War, like the original Gears of War. So I don't need to justify myself beating him again, because he is the worst boss I've ever faced in a video game. I actually dreaded getting to him in this game. The rest of Insane Difficulty was fine. I got through the campaign pretty easily, a few hours doing the campaign. And as soon as I got to the train level, I was dreading going to the very end of the train, because I knew Ram was waiting for me. So this makes it 100% easier if you know what you're doing. So I'll explain some of the techniques that you can use here. When you start like this in hosting a co-op game, you start with six torque bore rounds, which you wouldn't have originally unless you'd collected them throughout the mission and kept them. And then there is more torque bore rounds here, in a total of 12, which makes this fight so much easier. Do not pick up the long shot unless you're really good with it. Keep the Lancer, because you just active reload and you can do so much damage with it when it gets close. So I'll show you, I'll tell you the way the torque bow works and I'll show you how quickly you can kill you in insane mode. Remember this is insane mode, the last difficulty, this is why it's so hard. So remember this is me popping my head up and going back down, if I stayed out I'd be dead instantly. So dead, there you go. <laughs> so you don't want to do that, you need to try and charge the torque bow up while you're in cover and then shoot him when Let's you just pop this. out of cover. But the way the torque bow works is, if you don't know this from the original Gears of War, Ram is invulnerable when he's got the krill around him, you can't hurt him at all. So Shooting them with the Lancer or shooting them with the Torque Bow won't work. But when you have the Torque Bow, you can shoot them with one round. It'll take the Krill off for a few seconds, allowing you to use another round to actually hurt them. So when you've got 12 rounds, you, you technically have 6 shots to hurt them. That's if you can actually hit them with all the rounds though. So you can either wait for the Krill to come off them, or you can do it that way. If you do it that way, you've only got 6 shots, but if you wait for the Krill to come off them, you can maybe get 3 shots in before the Krill come back on, because it'll send the Krill at you and then they will take longer to fly to you and then fly back to him to shield them so you've got plenty of time and then this there was a guy who joined here as well which made that a bit easier for me but if you're doing it single player he'll kill you and then you need to restart this whole part again but when he gets close like this sometimes he'll just be retarded and he'll stand there just basically taking bullets but you just don't need to use your torque here just use grenades and just active reload your lancer and just pelt him bullets because he's actually really hurt here he's not too far from being killed right now and I would have been super pissed off if I was by myself, but the guy manages to resurrect me and we get back into the fight and I kill him. Because he, he goes down as well, but I managed to kill him just because he had so little health. But this is a really easy way to do it, guys. So hopefully he's not too much of a bastard for you and he doesn't do some of the things that he usually does where it'll stand in between cover and just shoot the hell at you so you can't stay behind it. But this is a much easier way to do it and hopefully this has helped. Because Ram is technically, he's the worst, <laughs> he must be the worst boss in video games for me. He's just so annoying. So, there you go, the Krill went off him just there, just as the torque go around exploded and he died. So, hopefully you guys maybe get lucky with him sending some Krill at you, and then you can pelt him with about three rounds without him actually shielding himself, which would be amazing. But, this took me a few attempts to actually pull off, so just try it, don't give up. Maybe... If you try for about 10 attempts and then you don't get it, just take a break and just breathe and just go back to it because I know these things can get really frustrating and when you get frustrated you make mistakes. So just stay calm. If you really need to, get a friend in because it helps dra dramatically. So hopefully you guys finish this on insane mode and you get all these lovely achievements that come with it. So stay tuned for more achievement videos from me and hopefully maybe more guides in the future if I do some more boss guides because... I do like doing games on like the hardest difficulty and it's fun, especially when you get this many achievements at the end as you can see them popping up. So stay tuned guys, hopefully you've enjoyed, if you have leave a like and stay tuned for more of my videos and I will see you there guys.
So, what are we doing tomorrow? 